What's up guys, it's time to review the new Super Mario Bros. U game and I have to say this doesn't feel like a new game at all. It feels like the Wii version all over again with HD graphics. And some people can say, well that's good. It's not good because it's the same game. It looks exactly the same and plays the same. Except for the HD graphics of course. And uh, I, I don't understand why people gave this game like seven, uh, eight, nines, and tens. I can't really understand tens because it's the same game as every other Mario game for the last 25 years, just with nicer graphics. Well, we have added two new modes here: a boost mode and a challenge mode. The boost mode you use the gamepad to place blocks for other players to jump on to reach higher platforms or to finish the the course in a faster time. And uh, the challenge mode is where you are set to re uh, to uh, collect coins or to jump on Goomba's head uh, or do st do different stuff. It's uh, it's uh, it adds a little bit of re replay value, but not enough to justify the sixty dollar price tag on this game. Uh, if you're not sure if you want to buy this game, don't buy it, because if you played any other Mario game, you have played this game. It uh, it it hasn't changed. Wait for Rayman Legends to re be released, and uh, I believe that game is going to be released in February the uh, 28th, at, uh, 28th, at least in Europe it's going to be, and uh, I'm not sure uh, about North America and such things, but if you are a die-hard Mario fan, you have already bought the game, but if you're just a common man uh, thinking about what game you should buy for a new Wii U console, get Zombie U. Get Assassin's Creed, uh, Creed Free, get Batman Arkham City. It's better games. This is the exact same experience, and don't understand why people love it so much because you've already played it. I know I'm bashing this too much, but I, I, I just can't understand the ratings this game gets. And I have to explain the the five player co-op that Nintendo boasts about. Uh, it's not really five player because it's only four player at the same time on the screen and the fifth player is on the gamepad place, placing blocks for the other four players. You can imagine how boring that is for the, f uh, the fifth player just to watch the other players and every other minute uh, place a block to uh, destroy for them or to help them. It's not fun, it's not going to be fun and I don't understand why we f would thought it would be fun. And here's another thing about the multiplayer aspect in this game. If you only have one Wiimote, uh, you can't play two, uh, two player co op, or not real two player co op, because when you go into two player and you only have one Wiimote, the person with the gamepad can no longer uh, control a character. That means that the person with the gamepad is uh, in boost mode and can only place blocks for the player with the, ga uh, with the Wiimote. So you have to have at least two. Wii modes to play two player and so on. So I don't understand why Nintendo did this, but, uh, but you couldn't change this, or I couldn't find a way to change this. If uh, anyone else can, please let me know. Uh, but I couldn't find it, and I can't understand. If you can't do it, why? Who? Whose idea was that to say that? Well, you can play the game in single player alone with the gamepad, but you can't play two player or real two player with the gamepad. That's stupid. So, if you haven't decided, it's a pass for me, So, and it should be a pass for you too. Uh, don't buy it, it's not worth your money. It's Mario, but you've already seen Mario. So, uh, like I said, it's a pass. Have a good day. Don't hate me for this. I'm not stupid. I just think that Mario should be, should be something new this time.